Greetings everybody and welcome to this video of mine. This time I would like to show you and uh, give you a quick tutorial on how to prime your miniatures with the Citadel GW Imperial Primer. So first of all I have to say that this is a brush primer and not a spray primer. So yeah, so if there is no good ventilation in your room for example, then uh, you might want to use a brush primer because the, the fume of the spray might really harm you. Alright, so in this tutorial I will show you how this Imperial Primer works on three different kinds of minis. The first one is a plastic Dark Elf, the second one is a plastic Eldar, and the last one that you can see here is a metal mini. It's an Imperial Guard, uh, which was sent to you by my buddy Ringo. Um, you might want to check him out, there is a link to his description, uh, there is a link to his uh, channel in the description below. Alright, then there is the Imperial Primer and you need a little bit of water to thin it down. So. Um, yeah, those are the two things you need. And you also need a little container uh, where you can put this in. Uh, I'll show you the the amount of uh, viscosity or um, uh, yeah, just see how liquid it is. Uh, so it can very well just run around in, the, in your container. It doesn't have to be super thick, but you should not overdo it. I recommend you to use a three to one ratio, three parts primer, one part water. Then you use a an old brush, a big old brush that you have um, and that you don't really care about. All right, and let's get uh, right started. So we will start off with the Dark Elf miniature. This is a Black Guard of Nagaroth of the new releases in November. It's pretty awesome. Uh, in my opinion, it's actually one of the coolest minis I've ever had the honor to paint. And yeah, you just take a load of the primer on your on your brush, and you literally just uh, slap it on. Um, you don't have to be very careful about it. Um, just go ahead and uh, paint it all over and just make sure that you don't leave anything out and uh, yeah it probably will only require one layer um, in some cases or on some areas of the model I had to give it a second layer because sometimes the Imperial Primal tends to um, just vanish off certain areas and just flow into another area like a crevice or something so you have to be careful that that doesn't happen but it'll be really easy and here you can see the the fully painted model it is really wet and uh, you will have to let it dry for at least 10 to 15 minutes before moving on and painting it I would probably suggest you to just uh, let it dry for a whole hour so you'll be re on the really safe side all right. Um, right now, it doesn't really look that impressive, but you will see a big difference or big change later on. So let's right move on to the Eldar Guardi Guardian model. It's also by GW, but it's a warmer 40k model, and I thought I would like to show you um, one fantasy 140k model. Unfortunately, I don't have a, a fine cast or resin model at hand at the moment, but uh, I think it'll work on those as well. Even though I watched the uh, the review by Warboss Tay and he thought that it was the least satisfying result on a fine cast mini. So you might want to give it a try, but don't expect too too much of it. Yeah, and just like with the uh, with the black guard, um, just slap it onto the model. As you can see here, my brush is actually really crappy and it's a little bit it got a little bit sticky. So uh, you, will, you will have to make sure that your brush is not too too sticky and that you remove the paint from time to time uh, with a soap, uh, cleaning soap or something. Um, yeah, I did not do it because I was in, in sort of a rush and hurry to do that video because I wanted to get it out as fast as possible. But yeah, even with a crappy and sticky brush like that, it was still possible to apply all the Imperial Primer. Yeah, just make sure that you don't leave anything out and we will do a little fast forward and skip some time until the model is finished. There we go. Also here it looks really wet and you can't really tell if it will look good later on or if it worked or something, but you will see a really good result at the end of the video when everything has dried. So now let's move to the metal model. Um, Probably most of you guys will paint metal or plastic models, so I think 
this tutorial should help you quite a bit. Actually, you don't need a tutorial for that. The only thing that you will have to bear in mind is that you uh, thin it down a little bit with water. I would say 4 to 1 or 3 to 1. I would not go under 3 to 1. So, Otherwise, it will get too, too thin and too watery. And it will be a real pain to make the, 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 the paint last on the mini. Don't don't uh, don't worry. By the way, if you see a lot of gray surfaces or uh, gray edges on the minis, because those will disappear once it is dried. So as you can see here, you have a lot of gray still visible uh, edges and upper surfaces, but those will disappear. You might want to try and give it a a second layer, but after the second layer, don't worry about it. It will definitely look better at the uh, once it's dried. Okay, and here we have after five to ten minutes I would say you can already see a big difference and a big change on the mini it looks way smoother and uh, yeah you can see that it really didn't peel in the recesses like a thick color would it's really thin and uh, it doesn't really cover any detail or ruin the model it's really smooth and even and I like the outcome already. So it seems to work pretty well on plastic as far as I can tell. Let's take a look at the metal model. Also here on the metal, of course, because it's way brighter and shinier than the plastic, you can see the edges and the outer surfaces uh, better, but that's because of the metal. And they are still covered though, and if you... Uh, metal tends to need a little bit more time to dry than the plastic. Here's uh, And here are other models that I uh, used the primer on, for example, uh, Shadow Blade of the new Dark Elf releases as well. He's missing his head, by the way, because I'll um, put it on once the mini is painted. And I also primed the Dark Elf Fleet Master. And on this model, I think you can see it really well. Take a look at his hair, for example. The hair is really richly textured and also the cloak in the back. And it just looks amazing. And I think it looks better than with any spray primer I've used. And here's another black guard model. Yeah, looks really, really cool. Those have been drying for one day, so they look fantastic. Yeah, and that's basically it. You saw the results. I like the Imperial Primer by Citadel Paints really, really much, and I can only recommend you guys. It's a good alternative for people who cannot use spray primers or don't want to. Um, yeah, thanks for watching, guys. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up and maybe uh, leave a comment, and I hope to uh, see you guys in the next video.